What's up, ladies and gents? My name is Quinn. Welcome to Quinn's Room Gaming. Um, we're uh, back to Brutal Doom again because I had footage for it. Um, yeah, this is the uh, next uh, level, and boys, next level shit. Um, that was a terrible pun. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, this uh, particular level is a lot longer and a lot harder, but I wouldn't expect anything less. Um, there I am trying to shoot a thing that doesn't break. Um, yep, uh, there was me uh, trying to shoot guns that didn't have any ammo in them. As you can see, I am the best. The best there is or ever is was were, no question about it. You may also notice that, uh, you may also notice that, uh, um, there was a conveyor belt that had a shotgun on it, and I walked right past it, not noticing it. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what that guy is saying, because uh, his uh, voice is quieter than the music. And there's me seeing what happens uh, when I do this. That's the glass I shot earlier. It's interesting that there's already blood on the wall. If you never played the original Doom, you might assume that the blood on the wall is like uh, a new thing in Brutal Doom. But it's actually not. Um, the original Doom was revolutionary in the fact that it was actually able to have blood on the walls. At least I'm pretty sure that's the case. Um, although certainly bloody footprints were not a thing. That didn't do what I wanted to do, did it? Um, yeah, I mean... Obviously they've added a lot of decals that didn't exist in the original Doom, like... Uh, the uh, singedness of the wall that I can't get under there when I don't know that yet. Now I know that. Um, but, uh, you know, they had bullet holes and there's me accidentally blowing myself up and I still don't know how that happened. <laughs> Boom! There's me checking to see if uh, you can drive that and you can't. Who would, who would really know for sure though? I mean you can drive the cars in uh, Grixo and I don't know what mod that's actually from but um, there's also a few vehicles you can drive in uh, uh, what's that game? Shadow Warrior, which is on the Doom engine. And this is me, uh, using the, uh, conveyor belt to get somewhere I could get, get gotten, uh, much easier from walking through the door, but I didn't know that because I'm silly. There was me, uh, turning around before I, uh, knew for sure whether I had killed that, uh, pinky. And the answer to whether I had killed that pinky or not was no, I had not. Um, Yep, saving, and uh, 
There's a very good reason for that. Because, I mean, look at what's on the, on the side of me. But, uh... I mean... You can plainly see, um... How that might be a problem. But, you've not seen... The problem that is going to be in the future. But you're going to! Yep. Um. Seems like, uh. Every time I play Doom, I always get to the point where, um. I'm playing it really slow because I have almost no health. And you might think, oh. Well, Doom Guy is the one of the fastest characters in video game history. Certainly, uh, you should take everything as fast as possible. But you'd be wrong because Doom is actually a very strategic game, and most people don't realize that. People are all like, "Oh, well, this modern uh, game is very strategic. Look at all this strategy." Um, and sure, a lot of modern shooters are very strategic, but uh, people kind of forget how strategic Doom was. Yeah, I just got uh, completely completely eliminated. I don't know why I just got hit by a fireball, but I'm not moving. Alright, there we go. Um, take those guys out. Um, Um, I really think more games should have um, um, the kicking melee thing that this game has because um, I mean in uh, Duke 3D you had a uh, sheet that let you uh, kick with the good leg and that was um, a thing where you had a um, hot key to actually kick but um, um, other otherwise your kick was your um, default uh, was your default uh, melee weapon instead of like fists or whatever and uh... you know everybody was everybody will tell you uh, yeah but in Postal 2 you have a kick you can do anytime you want but it does almost no damage but in um... Brutal Doom you have a kick that's pretty much the best uh... Uh, melee attack I've ever seen in a first-person shooter aside from specific melee weapons because uh, not only can you use your kick to finish off enemies but you can use your kick to launch enemies and uh, that's incredibly useful uh, when uh, you have enemies that are way too close to you so like I say I think uh, more games should have that mechanic. There's me saving because I'm about to try something incredibly stupid. And here it comes. And you fail.
Um. But might as well try it again. Uh. And, uh, there I am out in the middle of nowhere with, uh, not really much to do. And here I go. I really like the, uh, machine gun in this. You may notice I keep, uh, walking up to the wrong door. Later on, that's going to become a real problem. Yeah, I just, uh, landed on top of that guy and crushed him to death. I'm really tired. It's very late. Um, but, you know, gotta get this uh, video uploaded tomorrow. So, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I spent today, uh, most of the day, um, digging up dirt and moving it in buckets. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, uh, definitely, uh, didn't want to do that, but sometimes you have to. Um, And, uh, I've been doing that kind of work constantly for weeks. You know, all kinds of heavy lifting and walking around. And because of that, I've lost several pounds. I, uh, have blisters on my feet, and my feet constantly hurt. And I've woken up several times with sore ankles. You know, my ankles don't do well anyway, because I hurt them really bad once, and now sometimes I have trouble with them. I think uh, how I started wearing them out was um, my grandma would always want me to plant uh, some uh, like this huge field of potatoes, and uh, she's like, "You dig the hole, and then you put the potato in there, and then you cover it up with your feet, cover the dirt up with your feet." Well, I would do that from uh, about um, 10 a.m. to past sundown. Like I said, huge field. Um, and then I would come back to the house and my ankles would hurt. And I'd wake up and I could barely walk. And then every single time Without fail, the potatoes did not grow. So, uh... That's fun. But enough about me complaining. Yep. I really like this music. Speaking of music, shameless plug, I have a band camp now. I might have to link uh, that in the description. But right now I only uploaded one song. I have a few more to upload though, so I'm going to do that at some point.
Yeah, um, this is one of those, uh, games that, uh, I have no idea where I'm going with this. I'm just trying to kill time. Um, yeah, um, Yeah! Cool! My favorite! Melting an acid. Um. Well, that's not the worst part either. Um. You'll see where, uh. This gets really rough. And probably you'll see it in short order. So, uh... There you go! Lovely! Isn't it? The problem with having an arrow bridge like that is that, uh... Backpedaling is uh, a uh, technique that is used quite a lot in uh, first-person shooters, especially uh, Doom. And uh, when uh, backpedaling could easily lead to your death, it gets kind of annoying. And, uh, it's especially annoying when, uh, you have to dodge the fireballs for the imps on a narrow bridge. Because, uh, let me tell you, they are not easy to dodge. I don't know why, but I just love doing that. You gotta love the variety of this mod. Um, yeah, there's no shortage of things you can do in it. And it's uh, still being uh, worked on, and uh, some of the progress they've made is really awesome. Especially considering that I think, uh, and don't quote me on this, but I think it's only been work being worked on by one guy, and he's got uh, like uh, I don't know what the level is that he's showing in um, the. Um, Was it? I don't know what the level is that he's showing in the, uh, um, uh, development, uh, stuff, but, uh, yeah, he's, uh, um, showing, like, uh, this level that's, uh, in the suburbs, and you can blow up palm trees and destroy fences and stuff. Um, I mean, if I had to guess, I'd say it's in the thing that I'm playing and it's just like, once you get to a certain point, you go back to Earth. But I don't know. What I do know is, uh, that if that's the case, then it's better than, uh, uh, Doom 2, because in Doom 2, the Hell on Earth part of Doom 2, Hell on Earth, 
Um, mostly consisted of uh, bookshelves in the desert, which doesn't sound like any uh, part of Earth that I'm aware of. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe the demons brought those bookshelves. Um, yeah, they were like, uh, if we're moving in, we might as well bring our stuff. Yeah, definitely bring the, bring the bookshelves. Something I heard on, uh, NPR, uh, at some point was, uh, apparently, if you fry, if you bread and fry, pork buttholes then they are nearly indistinguishable from calamari which is just fantastic um I like that little uh skull in all the menus He's like, uh, I'm gonna twitch around. Twitchy, twitchy, twitchy. What are you gonna do about my twitchy, twitchy? You're not gonna do nothing. That's right. Twitch, 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 twitch. Anyway, um, the first time I heard about a twitch platformer, um, I thought that it was a platformer that was commonly streamed on Twitch. Um. Speaking of Twitch platformers, what is it with rage games and making, uh, their games incredibly cute and then making their games incredibly bloody at the same time. It's like, oh, look at this cute little bunny. Oh, that cute little bunny is bleeding all over the place. Like, uh, bloody trap land and stuff. Also, um, Um, I played a version of, um, uh, I want to be the guy that was, I want to be the guy rather than I want to be the guy guide. And there was a point in it where I'm pretty sure they just, um, didn't make a way for you to, uh, go to the next level. I'm pretty sure it was just unfinished. There's no other way that I can think that it would, that it would uh, be the way that it is. And that might sound like uh, me just being a goober uh, or whatever. Like, uh, oh, you only say that because you can't finish the level. And that um, explosion had a much wider blast radius than I thought it would. But, uh, um... No, because in actuality, uh, uh, there was, um, there were two ways that I could go, and neither way actually had an exit. It was quite annoying. Smush. Um. So, uh, I've been, uh, hanging out a whole lot with the, uh, you know, the other two dudes in the Gamers Doom, uh, crew. Miss your 
villain and miss your uh, the resurrected and uh we uh, have been doing some uh vlogging just a little bit and i think uh once dylan uh, gets those uh videos uploaded you'll like what you see just thought i'd give you a little heads up on that Also, uh... If you ever want to make some really good burgers, take some, uh... This is gonna sound really weird and everything. And it's gonna sound like I'm pulling your leg, too. But I'm not. You take some, uh... Uh, broccoli and you cut it up real fine and you mix that in with your meat and uh, the grilled broccoli mixed in with the hamburger meat is really good yeah this uh, That bridge uh, is giving me fits. Um, that's a that's surely is a bridge over troubled acid. Um, and finally, I'm out. But I didn't save. The way I end up having to do this, just to give you a little heads up, or maybe not. All right, there is a, there's more of this. I forgot. Yeah, well, the way I have to end up having to do this is really something, and I hate that uh, that's there. You have those two levels, and then that means that you can't get up. I do like that he bites a huge chunk out of you. I think that's pretty neat. Yep. Those imps always coming right around the corner and uh, surprising me. Giving me surprises. Lovely. Falling right in the acid. Um, I mean, it might sound, some of the things that I'm saying might sound like I'm uh, being a little too hard on the game, but honestly, I like the challenge, it's just sometimes the challenge is a little bit dickish. Why am I such an idiot? Why do I never save? It's almost as if I'm saying, hey, future Quinn, why don't you uh, go ahead and sit through this for way longer than you should and be annoyed at me? Yeah. Okay. Now this. It's certainly one way to do it. And there's me discovering that uh, headshots don't work on piggy demons. And I got surprised by the dip that was under the bridge.
I mean, the thing I'm doing here is trying to, uh, um, uh, trying to get through here with the uh, most health that I can, and it's not working out very well for me. Because in order to do it, I have to kill every enemy without getting hit. And there I go, losing most of my health. I just realized the thing I was looking at thinking about my health was actually my armor. Um... Yeah. Just, uh, go ahead and walk right into those fireballs, Quinn. No problem. It's not like I have to talk over this. I'm not editing it out because I don't have time. How long is this anyway? I don't know. And the reason I don't know is because the thing I'm watching it on uh, doesn't say how long it is. It just says where I am in the video, but it has two different times. So it's either uh, 33 ish minutes or. Oh no, that's time remaining. So yeah, it's. Um, yeah, somewhere in the ball ballpark of 33 minutes. I could put several mineral ads in that if, uh, you know, YouTube didn't decide that, hey, if you don't have, uh, uh, 10,000 views, you don't deserve ads. Because that's the best attitude to have towards your content creators. This is where this is me just uh, can't pick that up. That's annoying. But this is just me uh, walking. Oh yeah, this is me just. This was me just walking um, around, looking down my sight just in case. Um, ABC, always be cheesy. If you try to cheese it and you beef it, is that Philly cheesesteak? Anyway. Uh, 
Are you getting tired of this uh, loop yet? It's only been like uh, three, like almost uh, 34 minutes of you having to listen to it. So, I uh, hope you wouldn't be tired of it already. I certainly wouldn't expect you to be. Absolutely not. Checking to make sure we got all the enemies I can get and dropping down. like have some enemies. And the imp was like, I'm gonna give it to you. Fuck waiting for you to get it on your own. And I was like, no, nah, bruh. I was like, alright, well I guess I'm dead now. Man, it's almost midnight, I think. I don't know for sure, because my phone's dead and I never set the clock on my computer. Um, time we have for today. Uh, I'll see you guys next time, ladies and gents.